Hello everyone and welcome to this video, another in the Fight Night series brought to you by James from SmarterHome.com. My Fight Night series of videos contain comparisons of popular smart devices and to make it more light-hearted I use a boxing match format. The two devices that are in the ring today are the Ekabi 3 and the Ekabi 3 Lite Smart Thermostats. In this comparison I've collected as many details as I could about each product and I've broken the details down into short sections to make my boxing rounds. And this fight contains nine, uh, 8 rounds. After each round I will tell you who in my opinion has won and at the end of the comparison I will declare an overall r r winner. So here we have the Ekabi 3 and the Ekabi 3 Lite. Now I don't want to tell you which of these smart thermostats I like the look of more. Firstly because they're almost identical twins and secondly because I think looks are something which is really down to personal taste. All of my videos instead tend to focus on the cold hard facts of specifications. Now to do a comparison, to do a fight night between the Eka B3 and the Eka B3 Lite is a bit of a strange one because these two thermostats are so similar. As I said earlier, they are almost identical twins. But people out there are very interested, interested in comparing these devices and finding out what the exact differences are. So let's crack on and let's go to round one. So the first round is basic specifications. So let's bring in the two thermostats and then let's have a look at what the features are all about. So the first one is who makes these two thermostats and of course they're made by the same people, Ekabi. Now the second one is when were they first available for sale. So the Ekabi 3 is a June 2005 whereas the Ekabi 3 Lite is a younger product and it first was available for sale in October 2016. Next one is weight, the Ekabi 3 as you would expect is heavier than the Ekabi 3 Lite by, um, by a few ounces and then in terms of size well they're actually I think almost identical um, they're 4 by 4 by 0 0.8 or 0 0.9 inches and then in terms of price remember the important thing about price is that it's subject to change but at the moment the Ekabi 3 is available for $189.97 whereas the Ekabi 3 Lite is $20 cheaper at the moment and it's $167.99. Okay, so at the end of round one, who's the winner? I think it's the Ekabi 3 Lite in my opinion, but it's got, it's got a better price and it's a newer product. Let's move on to round two all about design and power so let's get the thermostats in and let's have a look at what different features we're comparing firstly colors well they're both only available in black in terms of material they're both made of plastic power they're identical they can either be powered by through your C wire your 24 volt C wire or through a power extender kit which comes with um, both of these products, a PEK. Um, they're both touch screens, three and a half inch touch screens, and in terms of the resolution, they're 320 by 480 pixels. So, round two, it's got to be a draw because it's exactly the same. Round three, the smart heating stuff. So, let's bring the thermostats in and let's have a look at the features that we're comparing. And I'm really sorry, that looks really messy. The lines of my table are all over the place. So that's not great, is it? So the first feature that we're looking at in the smart heating is all about the programming. And both of these thermostats require manually to be programmed manually. There are There is at least another smart thermostat on the market which requires no manual programming at all. That's the Nest. Next feature is the room sensors. 
So what we've got here is that the um, both of them use room sensors and in fact that's a new upgrade for the Echo B3 Lite. The Echo B3 has always been able to use uh, room sensors but the Echo B3 Lite has just been, that's been a recent upgrade. Um, geofencing. Geofencing is the ability of the thermostat to sense whether or not you are home and if it senses that you are not home then what it does is it turns itself off so it's not heating or cooling an empty house so that's what geofencing is and the Echo B3 has geofencing and the Echo B3 Lite doesn't. Remote access this is the ability to control your device even when you're not at home and both of them have this ability remote access and we'll be talking about specific features to do with remote access later on in the video as well energy saving well again they're all exactly the same the company Ecobee think that you can save 23 percent on your energy bills per annum by using these smart thermostats and they also come with a with energy reports which are analysis of how you use your heating and your cooling systems and tips for saving energy after that the last feature is forecast both of them show a local weather forecast of what's happening outside on their screens I've put here that it's seven days I don't think it is and I was trying to correct that but I couldn't um, get in and edit it again but both of them do have this a, f a forecast of what's happening outside on the screen so round three at the end of round three I think that's the Echo B3 because of the geofencing capability but again it's very very close Round four is all about uh, the 24 uh, volt heating system. So let's get the thermostats in and let's have a look at the features. We've got gas, electric, oil and dual fuel. Both of them can be used with gas systems. Both of them can be used with electric systems. Both of them with oil systems and both of them with dual fuel. So it's no surprise here that at the end of round four, it's a draw. Round five, another aspect, some more aspects of heating systems. Let's have a look. So with conventional systems and with the with heat pump and humidifiers. So conventional systems, both of these can do two stages of heating and two of cooling. And then with the heat pumps, both of them can do four stages of heating and two stages of cooling. The difference is humidifiers. Um, Echo B3 can be used with things like uh, humidifiers or dehumidifiers, whereas the Echo B3 Lite can't. So for that for that small difference there, the winner of round five is the Echo B3 because you can control humidifiers and dehumidifiers with it. Round six, this was mentioned earlier, remote access. Can you control these thermostats when you're away from home. So if you've got an iPhone or an iPad then the version of iOS that you require is 9 or later. If you've got an Android smartphone or an Android smart tab, so a smartphone could be like your Google Nexus or it could be your Google Pixel or it could be your, Sam your Samsung Galaxy phone now for the Android things what seems to be quite new is I'm now getting a message up that it depends on the device in terms of the version of Android that you need to be running for the Ecobee app. So that's changed I think in recent weeks. Windows 10 mobile apps to run that. There's no official apps to run either of these Ecobee devices on the Windows 10 mobile system. Then in terms of browser access as well as using your smartphone and your smart tablets can you actually control these devices by using a browser on your Windows desktop computer or maybe your MacBook and the, the fact is that yes you can. You can use Firefox, you can use Internet Explorer, you can use Chrome 
and you can also use Safari if you're using that. I'm sorry that I haven't actually got that up on the screen. But yes, you basically go to the your account at ekabi.com and there you can control these different devices as well. So round six, because they're exactly the same, it's got to be a draw again. Right, so round seven, home automation. This is a huge part of having of owning a smart device. And this is basically, can you use, can you control this smart device along with other smart devices that you've got in your house? So let's have a look. There they are, the thermostats have come in. And now these are the different things, the different systems, different home automation systems. Some of the, or most of the main ones that are out there at the moment. So the Amazon Echo, this is using your voice with Alexa. And both of these thermostats can you can use your voice if you're using the echo system the next one if triple t if this then that both of these devices can be used with that system um, ekabi have their own page within that website and their own services so that's good home kit both of them can be used with the with the Apple Home Kit and then Wink, the Wink system, both of them can be used with the Wink system and both of them can be used with Samsung Smart Things as well. So you can see here that Ekabi are really very, very hot as a company on making sure that their devices can be used with as many different home automation systems as possible. So at the end of round seven, it's really got to be that it's a draw because again they're exactly the same. Round eight, our final round is all about reviews and ratings. So there's the thermostats coming in and let's just have a look at some of the features of this. We've got overall rating. Well the overall rating of the Echo B3 is 4.4 out of 5. The overall rating of the light is 4.2 out of 5 so the Echo B3 is slightly above. In terms of reviews, well we, we would expect the the number of reviews for the Echo B3 to be far higher because it's an older device. But if we look at an average, about 152 reviews are being written a month about it. Reviews for the light at the moment are 384. Um, sorry, 348. And that is roughly equals about 58 reviews being written a month. So more reviews are being written about the Echo B3. Questions again. More questions have been have been answered, written and answered, or asked and answered for the Echo B3 than the Echo B3 Lite, as we would expect. Five star rating. Well, the Echo B3 is slightly above here. It's 85% of all of the ratings that are given have graded it five star, whereas for the for the Lite, 72% of all of the ratings that have been written have are giving it five out of five stars in terms of the percentage of the ratings which are giving the device a one star rating for the echo b3 it's five percent and unfortunately for the echo b3 light it's slightly higher nearly double at nine percent and again just like talking about prices earlier these reviews of course are forever changing but the general trends possibly won't. So the end of round eight, because of the slightly better reviews, is going to be the Echo B3. But of course, the Echo B3 Lite is still a very new thermostat, and so it possibly hasn't settled in, hasn't got enough, quite enough, um, isn't quite as high profile as its brother thermostat at the moment. So that could explain why 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 why, else, why sales are slower at the moment. So the overall winner is going to have to be the the Echo B3. Very very little difference between them, of course, because they are almost identical products. But if you are thinking between what to buy between the Echo B3 and the Echo B3 Lite, then after my analysis of all of the different specifications, 
I would go for the Echo B3, even though it is slightly more expensive. Thank you for watching this. If you have any comments, please do leave them below. If I've got any of the details wrong or you want to add anything about the details, then also leave those below.